Hello everybody and welcome back to the Nerd Jake channel and we're back with this the 90mm EDF unit from our flex jet which had some issues on takeoff as you can see by the grading there. Now I contacted um premium pre premium innovations, what the fuck are they called? Flex the people who make the flex jet, I've forgotten their name temporarily. And they said, um, there's a little bit of an issue, I think they were installing a new ticketing system or new support system or something like that that, that got things a little bit cross-wired. But when they'd seen my ticket, they saw the issue, they said, no problem, what's your address, we'll get it sent out. I did ask about getting the aluminium version instead, and they basically said no, which is kind of annoying. But they basically, they hadn't tested it, so I think it was more of a case of, let's make sure we send you something that works, they say. Now, the problem was when I sent the address, I then said, oh, sorry, you need to speak to Lingdinger, as I call them, Lingdinger.at, whoever they are, who I actually bought the original one from, uh, and said, yeah, you need to speak to them, and they'll send you out the right parts. That's fine. So I contacted them. I forwarded on the emails to their customer service department, and because of their ticketing system, I had to resend all the pictures, explain the issue again, kind of annoyingly. Um, and they said, no problem, we will send it out to you. I asked them, well, what are you sending to me? Because I have tried taking this apart. And if I use Allen keys again, I can't get this cone off. So I asked them, what are you sending me? Hoping, me, hoping they were literally going to send me this in a box. Unfortunately not. Now, I believe this is all from what they sent me. It actually came out addressed to my dad, so my dad opened it, because he was the one who originally bought it. It was a, a birthday or Christmas present. I'm not sure if that came with it or not. That was just in the box of stuff. We have a lip, which we don't really need on this. We have the actual new fan. Uh, and yeah, you know, I've shown you everything. These four bits are what came with it. So we do have the slight problem of, we now need to try and get the motor out of this. Now, because we do have, oh, something I didn't show you, a second nose cone. Because we do have that second nose cone, if needed, I can literally just cut the nose cone off and try and undo the screw. But I don't want to do that if we can avoid it. So, what we're going to do is use a left-hand drill. So most drills go right-hand, you know, righty-tighty. Um, whereas left-hand drills, what they do is they go the opposite way, anti-clockwise. They'll dig into the screw head and then when they grip they'll actually start undoing the screw because screws undo anti-clockwise so i'll be brutally honest with you i don't know where those are so i'm going to go ask where they are and we'll try that because that's the proper way of doing it unless they are like a million miles away and i can't get to those screw, uh, drills in which case we'll get the drill out and cut the nose cone off but i want to try and avoid that so i have spares for the future but uh let's spare me a minute while i find them drills Right, well, that was easy and not in any way challenging at all in the slightest. Thank you, Lindinger, for not setting me the whole thing. So I had to, I mean, look at that, fight to get the one good bit out of that fan, which is this. Can I just say that when we put this together, if we still have the same issues, I'm going to go fucking ballistic. I really am. Because that was such a, I actually got to the point where we could see this grub screw. Um, and we're able to just remove this because this this was not coming off of the metal now luckily we do have spares of all these parts this definitely must have come with this so we'll chuck all this crap away i've now got to sort out correct screws luckily there does seem to be a decent distance between the windings and the top of the motor so well, the screw length shouldn't be too bad first thing we have to do something that annoyed me when i first saw it because i thought i mean these aren't cheap especially if you buy them as flex ones and not tapped hobby, is the fact that uh, there's, a, there's a hole missing. So, so what size holes are these? Okay, so it's, it's like bang on the size of three and a half mil, strangely. So I've just literally put the 
thing away, but we'll uh, bring it. So now that goes in there. So I presume these are going to be three mil. Everything was locked tighted, literally everything. Which I understand at the same time, what an absolute bloody nightmare. Um, <laughs> we have one screw nearly in. Now I'm replacing the screw because the cheese heads are horse shite. Comparing it to Reno one, so they're bang on the right size. That one, So, I'm 
Right, okay. Right. So I'm going to use my watches. Fingers crossed these heads aren't going to be too tall. Well, uh, I'll find out. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is a comet style, the one that came with it is Allen key style. Fuck. Shit. Shit. Which means I've still got to try and get the blade off of this. Why they couldn't have just sent all the bits to make one? Now when you spend the amount of money, Jesus Christ! Where's me hammer? I mean, it's a fucking good hammer as well. Aha! Uh -huh. We have movement. Now, unfortunately. We do not have the best threads on this anymore, which is a shame, but it's not my fault that uh, it's crap. Uh, and they sent me slightly the wrong thing, I think. What a pain in the bloody arse. Right. Fingers crossed. Luckily, all the feathers that are knackered are like on the way in, if you like. So, uh, it shouldn't really cause issue with this. Oh, I see. That is what that slot's for.
So we're going to make it so the flat lines up with that slot. Put this on so that the screw lines up with the flat edge. Right, so that should be the shaft on. With that screwed and tightened up. Now we need the new blade. What a nightmare. Not the type of thing you expect to be doing on a model that you spent how much on. Let's uh, find out how much it would have been. I don't think I've ever mentioned this. It wasn't cheap. A 600 euro model, everybody. 600 euros, and that's on offer. Instead of 700 euros. So, Alexa, what is 600 euros in Great British Pounds? 600 euros is about 547 pounds and 49 pence. And Alexa, what's 600 euros in United States dollars? 600 euros is about 704 US dollars and 10 cents. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not impressed. Um,
right. One of the tools that we used during this is this thing. Right, I think we're going somewhere now on these semi-naked threads because they're too tight arse to just send you a new unit. So the shaft is now pointing the flat bit up. Tighten that back up. Okay. Here is where some of the threads got knackered up. I'm having to do this because there's no other way of locking the motor as far as we can see. Come on, you sodding horrible thing. I'm just, I'm just going to try and well so you can see some of the issues that we're having here What a fucking nightmare. Hmm, I 
think that is as tight as I can make it. Uh, but the threads are very much like it on the end there, so that's going to be real fun to deal with if this doesn't work properly. Now, of course, we get the really, really fun bit of trying to find... Can I get this nose cap on? There we are. And, uh, right. So, I suppose what we have to do at some other point in the future is mount the bloody thing in the plane. Let's see how we get on with it, but I am well and truly fed up on that for now. So, we shall... We shall put all those bits in the bin and we'll try getting it into the plane another day. Um, pop all that in the bin and uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Like, subscribe and stuff. Bye bye.